How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon BDSP Wi-Fi battle and today is the second time using this Celebi team. If you want to battle me then join the Discord server in the description and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. With that being said, let's find ourselves a game. Alright, we found my opponent also known as Chris, also known as Apple Roll on the Discord. So join the Discord if you want to battle me. Battle. Why do I say battle like in America? I'm so dumb. Anyway, <laughs> um, they've got a Ninetales, Sableye, Gardevoir, Skarmory, Roserade, and a Garchomp. So I'm looking at this team matchup and I'm thinking Ninetales lead to get the sun up or set, uh, Sableye lead to get to the either burn slash taunt off. So what I'm thinking is I might lead off with Heatran. I feel like Heatran's a good lead here and we can just go ahead and deal with either one of those two Pokemon quite easily. And the battle begins. Chris is going to lead off with Sableye, the tiny little gremlin Sableye. He's so tiny. And I lead off with Heatran, of course, as we know. So Heatran um, doesn't really care about Sableye at this point. The only thing we need to worry about is a knockoff. A fun fact, I actually had Sableye on this team, but I replaced it with Weavile because it just wasn't working out for me. Um, I'm going to go straight for a Magma Storm. Just get some damage off early on, you know. It's always good to get damage off on something. There's no point burning this thing. Uh, it goes for a fake out though, which is an interesting move to have on it. I, I personally normally try and go the prankster set, so I have like knock off, will o wisp, taunt, recover. It's an old set, but it's like it's fine. It works fine. But fake out's a decent one because you can break any focus sashes. Uh, or in this instance, it was a bit pointless because leftovers. Um, but you know, it's it's whatever. So this is the real turn one. It goes for a confused ray. That is something I wasn't expecting, which is fine. Ah, uh, damn. Down, 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 down. Can we break through, please? Yes! <laughs> and we miss. I always seem to miss Magma Storms for some reason, so that's kind of frustrating. Let's see what the Sableye is going to do next. They're going for an attack instead. And we hit ourselves in confusion. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. They go for a knockoff. That's going to, of course... Oh, we got the burn, though. That's fine. So they got rid of our leftovers, but we did get the burn on the Sableye, which is always welcome. It's a welcome change, you know? Um, so once again... Going to attempt the Magma Storm. Let's see how we do. Alright, they're going to go for another fake out, but that doesn't work, I'm afraid. And I'm going to be able to go for a Magma Storm once again and get some serious damage off. Nearly KOing it, which is great. Uh, hopefully, actually, the... Oh, wait, they've got a berry. What kind of berry is that? Probably like an Aguav or something like that. Citrus Berry. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Citrus Berry. So, we're not taking this thing out, but it is trapped, which means we can just deal with it in our own special way. So I'm going to go ahead and go for a flash cannon since I know I won't uh, miss that. And uh, they're probably going to go for another confuse ray, right? I think that's what they do here. Nope, they're going to probably go for another knockoff to try and get damage, but I mean, unfortunately Sableye is going to go down. What a weird first turn. First few turns this battle has had. Like, <laughs> I guess it's true that, like, you know, Sableye is a gremlin, so it's just kind of messing things up, you know, for me and possibly my opponent. I don't know. <laughs> it didn't really do much though. <laughs> In comes the Garchomp. Makes sense. Garchomp can basically just destroy Heatran. Um, I have switches. I think in this particular instance, Celebi is the best switch in. Um, I don't want Swampert to take too much damage. Probably are going to go for an Earthquake, but it might too at KO Swampert. That's the only problem. So I'm going to go ahead and go into Celebi. I think Celebi is a very worthwhile switch here so into the little pink stuff little pink fairy thing there we go look how big and intimidating Garchomp looks from this it's a shame the Garchomp doesn't get intimidated sword dance oh we are screwed we are screwed um oh dear this is not good this is not good I mean it's not too bad because we've got Salamence who's scarfed you know so it's not the biggest deal in the world uh, I'm going to go for a Leaf Storm, just trying to get as much damage as possible on this thing. It goes for a Fire Blast, that's not going to be boosted by Swords Dance at least, so that's pretty good. And we find out the Life Orb, which is even more dangerous, so go for a Leaf Storm real quick, there we go. That did some really solid damage, I'm not going to lie. I'm very happy with that damage, so Celebi is in this awkward position now where I feel like they're going to go for a... I don't know what I want them to go for. I feel like they won't go for another Fire Blast. They're probably going to go for an Outrage. Um, but it's Swords Dance boosted, so it's probably going to KO the Heatran. Um, so it's a really awkward one. I'm trying to think what I need Celebi for. Skarmory walls it. Gardevoir 
can probably do some damage to its Shadow Ball and all that. Ninetales just destroys it. Roserade, again, it, I think Roserade out of speed goes for a Sludge Bomb. So I'm thinking we just let Celebi go down. We'll go for another Leaf Storm just in case. Nope, they go straight for the Outrage. So that's a shame. We let Celebi go down. However, this is also a good thing because now the Garchomp's locked into Outrage. We can just go into Salamence and just pop it off. Just, just, just give it a good pop. Or we can go into our Weavile and finish it off with an Ice Shard. Depends which one leads to which. So uh, I think I think the best one's to go for a Weavile, um, to be honest with you. That way we don't have to reveal that we are Choice Scarfed on the Salamence just yet. Um, we can keep that a secret just for a bit longer. Uh, just, you know, just in case something happens. I don't know. To be fair, they haven't got really that many fast Pokemon on the team other than Garchomp, so we're not don't have to worry about that too much. Let's go for the Ice Shard anyway. And Baba Booey, down goes the Garchomp. So that's pretty good. We got the Garchomp out of the way. They did claim us a Celebi as one of the Fallen Souls, but that's fine. We don't mind that. We don't mind that. All right, in comes the whatever this is, Gardevoir. Um, so either they know I'm locked in, or are just assume assuming I'm locked in because Choice Band Weevil is quite calm. Uh, calm. It's quite common. Uh, I'm thinking we switch into Heatran here. Heatran seems like a definite switch because a Moonblast is definitely coming Weavile's way. Oh, now that I think about it, they could go for Focus Blast since it's like for the Heatran switch, uh, potentially. So, damn, maybe I should have not gone into Heatran. I don't know. Moonblast is... Uh, no, no, Moonblast works. That's fine. Never mind. They go for Moonblast. Perfect. Perfect. Now, God of War can be choiced. Um, I think it might be choice based on the team and I'm trying to think do I do I take my chances I didn't see life orb so either the choice and they can't switch up moves or they have leftovers and they won't, won't have enough power behind the focus blast to KO us so I'm gonna go for a flash cannon and see how that goes so they actually go for a calm mind they're a calm mind variant oh interesting let's see how that works out for you after you get hit in the face with a flash cannon let's go for it there it is. Let's see how much damage we're talking here. Oh dear. Yep, and we got the special defense drop, which is like, wow. Um, this is just working out better for us now, isn't it? Then again, what switching have they got? They haven't really got a good switching, have they? I mean, they might think we're Flash Fire, which is why the Ninetales isn't coming in, but I'm pretty sure a Sun Boosted Fire Blast might finish us off. I'll go for another Flash Cannon anyway and see what happens. Thunderbolt, that's... Oh, wow, that did loads more damage than I thought it would, as we can go for a Flash Cannon and just destroy the Gardevoir's life, so... That works out for me. That works out for me big time, so... Gardevoir's down. Great. That's what we like. And now I'm thinking they're going to Ninetales, right? There's the Ninetales, so... Ninetales... Oh, the Silver Fox as well. I love it. I love Shiny Ninetales. It's so cool. Get the Drought up, which is fine. You know, if I manage to take out this Ninetales with Heatran... No, I'm not taking Ninetales down with Heatran. I've got 7 health. Uh, let's give the Earth Power on the off chance we outspeed, because I don't know what people run on Ninetales. Maybe they run it bulky or not. I don't know. Uh, they go for a Solar Beam. That's, of course, going to be able to KO us from here. Fully charged in the sun, of course. There it is. And boom! Down goes the Heatran. So, we don't really need Heatran. I mean, Heatran could have completely annihilated Skarmory and Roserade, but it's too low on health. Gets out sped by Roserade, and the last thing I want is to see my Heatran go down to a Giga Drain. You know? So we've got Ninetales in. It's got Solar Beam, which is always fun. I think we go um, Salamence here, and we go for an EQ, but at the same time, they could just go into Skarmory, so it's, it's a bit of a tough decision to make. It's a bit of a tough decision to make. If they go Skarmory, we can just go whoop, right back into Raikou. And then Raikou can get a free Thunderbolt off on anything, because he can't really switch anything in. Roserade probably doesn't get 2 it KO'd, but it'll definitely get 1 it KO'd. Uh, 3 it KO'd, shall I say. Uh, so I'll just go for the Earthquake. There's no reason for me to make any unnecessary risks at the moment. We have the high ground, as Obi-Wan would say. All right, there we go. Go for the Earthquake. Should take out the Ninetales. Yeah, there we go. Salamence coming through. What a beast. So we have um, a couple of choices here. If they don't think we're Scarfed, and they think we're not, you know, if they think we're not Scarfed. Because, like, they might have think, oh, we're out of speed and we'll go for a Will-O-Wisp then. That's what I'm thinking. So they know we're Scarfed now. And that's my uh, custom shiny Skarmory. What do you guys think? Um, 
Let me know. I've gone with. I, I thought of like a rusty orange with blue wings. I, I figured it looked pretty cool. But let me know what you think about it. You know, I think it looks pretty cool. I don't. I didn't really like the original, so I changed it. Um, we can't switch up moves, which is a shame because if we have Fire Blast in the drought and we could switch up moves, that'd be great. We can't. So let's go into Raikou real quick. There we go. Get out of there, Salamence. Salamence is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. No. Yeah. It's a lot smaller. So we're going to Raikou as uh, they go for a Stealth Rock, which is fine. Uh, we could just go for a Thunderbolt here, right? I think we can just go for a Thunderbolt. There's no reason to worry about this thing. I mean, like I said, Rosary can come in, but what's it doing? What's it doing, really? All right, they're going to withdraw the Skarmory. What's going to come in? Well, obviously, we know what's coming in. It's the Roserade, so... There's the Roserade, and Roserade is tiny as well. Teeny tiny. Thunderbolt's gonna... F Ooh, actually, no, I don't think that's... That's a, that's a four-hit KO. It only does about a quarter, if you consider the fact they have uh, like Sludge, so... Um, Raikou, not the best option here. So let's go ahead and go for a Volt Switch and get out of there. There we go. Get more damage to it. Get it down to half. We'll get out of there as well. Thunderstruck with just the C at the end. And I'm thinking... I know, steady on, right? I'm thinking they're going to go for a sleep powder. That's what I'm thinking. So I think we should go Swampert first. If they K if, they, if they go for a Grass-type move and they KO Swampert, so be it. We just then go into Weavile. And, you know, from there we go blah, 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 blah. Um, I think Raikou's our win condition here. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with just sacking Swampert here, if, if need be. Even if they, if they go for a Giga Drain and it KOs and they get all the health back, it should be fine. But no, there's the Sleep Powder. And I'm, I'm pretty sure Roserade would run Leaf Storm, right? Because it's not really a bulky Pokemon. It wants the... It needs the firepower from Leaf Storm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing anyway. So we are asleep. We are a Swampert. Um, they can definitely KO us with the Roserade. And I'm just going to let them do that because why not? Why not? So I guess I'll just click a move. Avalanche, why not? There's the Giga Drain. Oh, that's a shame. That's going to KO Swampert, unfortunately, and it gets them right back up on their health. But it's fine. It's fine. We can deal with this. We can deal with this. So, how are we dealing with this? How are we dealing with this? I think we go Weavile. I think Weavile's the play here. Because Ice School Crash is going to do a lot of damage to the Skarmory as well. With it being choice banded and everything. We just gotta be careful because we're limited on how much we can switch in and out. So let's go for the icicle crash real quick and hopefully we don't miss. That'd be awkward. Oh, they actually stay in. Are they focus sash? I'm guessing they're focus sash. No, they're not focus sash. That's strange. I would have personally gone into Skarmory there, but you know it's whatever. So Rosary goes down. And now all we have left to face is the Skarmory. So let's see how we do here. So Skarmory comes in. There it is. My rusty boy. The old rust bag. Um, I'm thinking we just Icicle Crash. Let's stay in with Weavile and just Icicle Crash it. So we do miss the first one, which is annoying. They can go for a Brave Bird. That might actually take out Weavile from here. It does. Weavile's very frail. <laughs> so Weavile goes down, but this means their Sturdy's broken, which is great. Great news. And it means we can go into our Raikou. And Raikou can finish up the game. So... There's Raikou. Let's go for a Thunderbolt real quick and finish this up. Uh, so yeah, I just want to thank Apple Roll for providing me with the battle opportunity that he has done. Or she, I don't know. I don't know any, I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't know your pronouns. Um, Skarmory goes down and that is the end of the game. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, of course, leave a like, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And with that being said, I'll see you all in a bit.